What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so most of the users have been waiting for oxygen os 12 for oneplus 9 rt so today we have an alpha build which was released and it's now available on internet we have already flashed it on a oneplus 9 rt so in this video let's take a close look how stable it is to be used as daily driver what's the installation process new features and other stuff and one more thing guys i won't recommend any one to flash alpha builds because right now we don't have any process to downgrade to oxygen os 11 but in future whenever we receive first open beta we'll have the downgrade package so if you guys are ready to take the risk of installing then you can proceed with the installation guide so without wasting any more time let's get started now okay so here we have our oneplus 9 rt first of all let me show you the software information by going to about section if you see here on the top side it says alpha build so this is the alpha build and it's second close beta 2 which was recently released for close beta testers going to android version android version is 12 and this is the first build of oneplus which comes with 5th june 2022 security patch talking about version version is c.02 and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video let's also take a look at the benchmark results on this latest build and we'll compare it with the oxygen os 11 builds also and here you can see this was the benchmark testing which we did on previous build wherein single core had scored 918 and multi-core had scored 3317 after installing Oxygen OS 12, single core scores are a bit lower wherein device have scored 717 and multi-core have scored 3242. With Antutu benchmark application, Oxygen OS 12 have scored 721715 and let me show you the scores with previous builds which was Oxygen OS 11 wherein device had scored 716010. And we also did CPU throttling as always. So here with Oxygen OS 12.1, average GIPs were quite high and max CPU throttled up to 90%. This CPU throttling test was done on Oxygen OS 11 wherein max CPU had throttled only 88%. Now talking about the installation process guys, so as said, I personally don't recommend any one of you guys to install it. I've installed it on my device to show you guys all the features and what changes you guys get to see on Oxygen OS 12.1. So if you are willing to install, you can just download the files given in the description below. Along with this, also download OnePlus local update application. So OnePlus local update application can be easily installed. It's a just APK file. Tap on it and you'll get the pop-up to install. Once you have installed that APK, open that application, tap on the gear icon towards the right top corner, select the file, zip file of Oxygen OS 12.1 and tap on install. And before installing, make sure to take a backup of your device, though it did not wipe any data on my device, but still for safety purpose, do take a backup. So talking about all the changes now, first of all, you won't notice much of changes on OnePlus 9RT because this was already running ColorOS codebase with Oxygen OS 11.3. Minor changes you might see. So I personally don't remember quick setting tiles. I think it was similar on 11.3 and it's now same on Oxygen OS 12.12. So we have most of the things similar on OnePlus 9 RT due to the ColorOS code base it was running previously. The same ColorOS launcher. We'll quickly cover up all the features what OnePlus have been adding with Oxygen OS 12. As said, I personally don't remember whether these options were present on Oxygen OS 11 for OnePlus 9 RT. And you guys let me know whether these features are present on OnePlus 9 RT running Oxygen OS 11 or not. So first major change with Oxygen OS 12. Now we do have this section of personalization wherein we get Canvas AOD 2.0 with lot of options to customize the Canvas AOD styles. So if you choose any photo, generate Canvas AOD. From here you can customize the paintbrush, color palette and special effects. And this is how it looks when you change the color palettes or you can say brush styles or paint brush. We do have always on display present with features like Bitmoji, Insight and Canvas AOD. Rest all other clock styles remain same. No major change you guys will notice here. One additional thing what we get on Oxygen OS 12.1 is the support of Theme Store. So we have a dedicated application for it. If you guys want to download any themes from here, you can download them. There are a lot many themes available. I'll still leave few themes which are my best top 10 themes. If you guys want to try out those themes, just use the link given in the description below. We don't have the support of wallpaper color picking, though it is not available on any of the OnePlus smartphones, including their latest flagship, which is OnePlus 10 Pro. Same stuff, three different colors for horizon lights. 
these are the animations present for fingerprint unlock we'll also take a look at the fingerprint unlock speed and face unlock speed in a while after that we already had high performance mode on oxygen os 11 and the same continues with no major changes with oxygen os 12.1 these are the changes what oneplus have done with second close beta wherein they have optimized the cold start time of gps few network optimizations and camera optimization and people who were running close beta 1 the update size for close beta 2 is approximate 630 mb i don't see any kind of delays while registering a fingerprint and the unlocking speed is also quite fast we do get to see the new animation while registering our face for the face unlock feature and while unlocking the device with face unlock, there are no delays to be seen. We have these different modes for dark mode where you can switch between gentle, medium and enhanced. So if you're looking for pitch dark theme, then choose the enhanced one. Also, we have an option called adaptive contrast, which automatically adjusts the screen color contrast intensity according to the ambient condition. And guys, we have already done a video on all the features of Oxygen OS 12.1. I'll leave those videos in the description below. You guys can check out all the features. With OnePlus 9 RT, we don't get to see much of changes because it was already running Color OS code base. Now, with Oxygen OS 12.1, OnePlus have added the feature of Hyper Boost for gaming thing. So let's quickly play a TDM and we'll see how does this device perform after the update of Oxygen OS 12.1. When it comes to gaming dashboard, we don't see any new add-ons done here. And still, if you guys take a look at the graphics settings, we only have max support of 60 FPS. So still no 90 FPS support on OnePlus 9 RT also. So let's play one TDM and see how does the device perform after this latest update. By the way, my combination is 4 finger plus gyro. Talking about the device temperature, so currently towards the bottom side, it's 31 degrees Celsius. And towards the bottom side, it's 32 degrees Celsius. So here I did not see much of FPS drop, device was constantly maintaining between 55 to 60 FPS and slightly warm up can be seen towards the top side, let me show you the temperature. So here you can see we started with 32 degrees Celsius and it's now almost 36 degrees Celsius with a gameplay of 5 to 6 minutes. Not a major deal, this much every device do warms up. So guys this was a quick look on the close beta 2 update for OnePlus 9 RT which is based on Oxygen OS 12.1 and I'm not covering all the features of Oxygen OS because most of you guys are aware about the same thing and you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you guys want a dedicated review on this build if you guys agree to it we'll do the dedicated review including camera performance battery backup and other stuff so as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day